In light of fostering education and innovation in the telecommunications sector, the 2010 SATNAC conference also provided PhD students with the opportunity to present their papers to a panel of their industry leaders. Now with me I'm joined by Pragash and Mudli. He's from the University of Zululand and he's doing his PhD in power control in wireless mesh networks. Now, can you unpack that for me? Okay, basically um, we're trying to provide communication infrastructure in, in rural and marginalized areas because that's one of the priorities of the South African government at the moment. One of the uh, networks that we found to be able to work in such conditions happens to be a wireless mesh network. It's, it's basically an extension of the typical traditional Wi-Fi uh, networks. Uh, we're taking an access point model and we're trying to distribute it so that these nodes we're trying to give them decision-making abilities, uh, make them distributed in nature, easy to set up, uh, very dynamic, easily, easy to configure. Uh, and so my thesis is dealing with uh, the extension of network lifetime because in these rural areas, uh, typically uh, electricity is a problem. Electricity supplies a problem. So some of these deployments rely on battery-powered uh, wireless devices. So we try to extend the lifetime of the, of the network. So one of the ways we can do that is to reduce the transmission range and the transmission power that the nodes or the devices that comprise this mesh network uh, use. So right now your thesis is focusing on uh, a reduction in power uh, or rather a, perhaps even an intelligence in the way power is operated yeah. in these certain devices. What is the current state of play? What is it like at the moment? At the moment, when we deploy a mesh network in a rural area or in any area for that matter, uh, it's set up to use the maximum permissible power. Uh, there isn't any adaptivity or uh, de there's no di dynamism. So these nodes aren't in control of the transceiver power level or transmission power level that they use at any point in time. It's fairly static. So regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the context, uh, they're going to use this one particular and it so happens to be the maximum. Uh, power level. Your presentation um, is also one of a number of presentations that's currently going to be taking place at the SATNEC conference um, and you're also a student from the University of Zululand who's part of the Centre for Excellence and I spoke to your professor earlier. Now in your opinion how has the Centre for Excellence benefited you in your studies, benefited you in terms of uh, accessing the industry that you hope to work in? It, it's been extremely beneficial. Um, it provides uh, because I've gotten to the university at undergraduate level and it provides us with a uh, smooth transition into postgraduate studies. Uh, for a lot of us, the center of excellence is our first introduction into postgraduate studies because they, they focus exclusively on postgraduate uh, studies. So we have access to finance because typically that's a, a constraint on postgraduate studies because you have uh, the expectation from families that you finish your degree and you start to work so that you can Support, start supporting your family. But with the introduction of the COEs, we can actually, uh, we, we put in a financial situation where we can actually afford to remain at university and progress towards postgraduate, uh, postgraduate level due to the funding that we're able to attract through the Center of Excellence program. So for a lot of us, uh, it's a lifeline into postgraduate studies. And I think I can safely say that the majority of students that are attending the conference wouldn't be conducting uh, postgraduate studies if it weren't for the COE program. And what, what about also the, the uh, cross-pollination of ideas? Because I know that the centers don't work in isolation. Um, you collaborate with different universities, with different centers. How does that help your studies as well? It's extremely beneficial. Firstly, we get to travel out, experience new uh, uh, work cultures, uh, experience new technologies. And even the attending, uh, attending of this particular conference, uh, you get, like you say, you get to cross-pollinate your work. So ideas from uh, mathematics, ideas from electrical engineering, from computer science, all synthesized.